Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. This is our devotion for Thursday, December 23rd, only two more days till Christmas, and it's our fourth day of talking about the transforming power of God's amazing grace. Our Bible reading for today comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, beginning at verse 7. So to keep me from being conceited because of the surpassing greatness of the revelations, a thorn was given to me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from being conceited. Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So today, as we talk about the power of God's grace to transform us, we're talking about being transformed from weakness to strength. But it's not really our strength. Probably the best illustration I have for this is when the kids were little and we lived in Florida, we used to go to the beach a lot. And one of the twins' favorite games to play involved their weakness and my strength. You see, there would be waves coming in. And if, if these little guys, who were only about three at the time, would be standing in the water and the waves would come, what would those waves do to them every time? They would flatten them. It, it would knock them on their backsides. It would fill their faces with water. It would not be very fun. In fact, they would start to really dislike the water because it would beat them up every time. That is our condition in sin. We are weak. We cannot stand up to those waves of sin and the power of the devil and just the brokenness of the world coming over us each and every day. Our weakness causes us to be overwhelmed. But we are not alone. And this is the game the twins love playing. They would love going out into the water, so it was probably about up to here on them, holding my hand. And I would have one of the twins in each hand. And as the waves started coming in and they saw them coming in, they would start laughing because they knew what was coming. And as the waves got to them and hit them, what by themselves would have knocked them down and made them choke and sputter became a great game because their father had their hands. And as the waves came, they would just pick up their feet and let the waves lift them up and wave them around. And it was fun. Not because the waves were gone, but because their father had their hands. You see, God doesn't make us strong. God gives us strength through him. He takes our weakness, and as we hold on to his hand, or in reality, as he holds on to our hand, and those waves come by, his strength is made perfect in our weakness. You see, when we acknowledge our weakness, and we let God be God, and take hold of our hands, as those waves come, they don't overwhelm us because of the strength of our Heavenly Father holding us up. I would pray with whatever you may be dealing with as we approach Christmas, whatever frustrations, whatever pain, whatever brokenness that we talked about yesterday, that you remember that you have your loving Heavenly Father holding your hands. And it's not your strength that will get you through anything. It is God's strength given to you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Thank you for lifting us up. Thank you for being our strength when we are weak. Lord, we would ask you to give us the understanding and the wisdom to rely on your strength, to trust in you instead of trying to do it ourselves. Lord, in your son's name, we thank and praise you. Amen. Now, there's only two more days until Christmas. And remember, our Christmas Eve worship schedule, uh, family worship is at 5, and that's going to be more interactive. You're going to be doing a little bit of talking with each other during that service. Our 7 o'clock service is a traditional candlelight service with some amazing music and, and, and a celebration of the birth of Christ. Our 10 o'clock service is also a candlelight service, but at that service we will be offering Holy Communion. 
There's no services on Christmas Day on Saturday the 25th, but a lot of our folks will be working at the Helping Hands dinner, feeding, bringing Christmas dinner to, to those in need. Then on Sunday, December 26th, we will be having one worship service at 10 o'clock. We hope that you can join us for all these worship opportunities. They're all gonna be a little bit different in their own ways, and they're all an opportunity to come before God and be transformed by His grace this Christmas season. You guys have a great day. I will see you tomorrow in front of a different tree. Bye-bye.